Good morning, Washington. This is DCRTV Dave. Hi. And this is the uh, this is the newest sound on the Washington radio dial. The newest sound, it's a 1420. Uh, WKCW down in Warrington. Uh, yeah, I know this radio is kind of old. This is my granddad's old radio from the 70s and the 60s. Uh, WKCW in Warrington has uh, flipped its 1420 signal from gospel to oldies, oldies. All these oldies that you never hear much anymore. So you got a pretty good signal out here in Reston. You got 22,000 watts and not a bad signal for the uh, Washington area. And they're doing their lo it's locally produced. It's not being done with a uh, syndicated satellite feed from somebody. I'm just curious as to whether they will be doing a uh, whether they've got some live and local DJs on there. Okay. Okay. If you're hearing a song that you love, you must be listening to the new AM 1420 WACW. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So we got that signal there. And then if you go over the... That's 1460. That's also a metro radio station. Uh, the metro radio is based in Vienna, Virginia. Oh. And that is the uh, KHZ there out of uh, 1520 out of uh, Brunswick, Maryland. But again, the closer you get to the computer, everything fades away. So that's, that's kind of interesting. And of course, you've got uh, radio, radio Russia there on the old 1390. Yeah, so and it's cool space, the image of, of your school, so you have to... Okay, so yeah. Interesting, and then of course there's Radio China. Oh no, that's 1310, this is Korean, the old wheel, the DCT. And there's Radio China on the old wave, 1190. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Hmm. So, what if I want to ask how fresh are they? Well, you can simply say, Okay, so there's there's a the AM radio update for all uh, eight people in the Washington area that are still listening to AM radio. Okay, folks, uh, what's the big news? The big news today is another round of radio ratings for the Washington metropolitan area. <laughs> Morning, I'm gonna. Uh, we got the 12 pluses on there on dcrtv.com, and uh, you know, TOP is again at the top. Nice jump for PGC. Uh, be interesting to see if uh, Jason Kidd is their new program director, kind of tweaking the station a little more and more toward contemporary hit and away from urban contemporary. Whether he'll be able to bat better battle hot 99.5, we're seeing it looks you know, at least the preliminary numbers look pretty good. Big Tigger's up a little bit in the morning, so that's good. Good news for MZQ. They're up there in the top five. Country Station with a boxer in the top three, at least in the 12 plus numbers. So that's good news. And we're going to take a look this morning or this afternoon or whatever. Okay, what is today? Today's the 6th of June. July. 6th of July. The 6th of July, 1912. Uh, 6th of July, 2011. We're going to look at the, the morning drive numbers for the third week of June. 2554 male female demos. Okay, what do we got? Okay, the money demo 24th place is a three way tie between uh, WETA FM. This is mornings and uh, Baltimore Urban Temporary WERQ and Mexican Regional. WBQH 1050 there in uh, Silver Spring. They're actually doing very well. 
Uh, quite quite a good, uh, quite a nice little uh, ratings jump for them, even though it's a little dinky am or 23rd place, 105.1, the biggest waste of an FM signal in the Washington market. You know, this station with a 105.1 signal, with a killer signal, should be in the top 10, but because Salem doesn't even give a rat's ass and just wants to put, you know, little listen to Christian talk on it. Uh, and I'm not nothing against Christian talk, but, you know, they ain't getting the ratings, right? 23rd place for their mornings. Uh, FRE, 99.9 out of Frederick, 22nd place. And we've got a two-way tie for 20th place. WFLS, country out of Fredericksburg. And Geezer Radio, WMAL. <laughs> Man, I don't know. You know, they reconfigured their mornings on uh, WMAL. I like Brian Wilson. I really do. I think he's great. I like Brian Neiman. I think he's great. Uh, the funny thing about Mary Catherine Ham, the less I hear of her, the more I like her. When she's one of three, and they, you know, most of the talking is between the two Brians, and Catherine doesn't talk much, it's okay. She's tolerable. But now that Brian Neiman is on vacation, Brian Wilson's kind of the top dog on the show, and brings up Catherine Ham, so she's like 50% of the morning show, and it's intolerable. Man, I don't know. They really ought to. <laughs> they really ought to just make it the Brian and Brian show. I don't know. Okay, what do we got? Uh, 19th place, WVRX uh, 1059 The Edge, which is still playing classic rock. I really, my sources say that someday soon, uh, Citadel or Cumulus and whoever the hell's running the station is going to flip this over to a MAL FM relay. But at the moment, maybe it may not come to Labor Day, you know, but but for the moment, they're doing uh, not big. Kirk and Mike are on a slow upward trip. Kirk and Mike, yeah. Slow upper trek there. So they're 19th. They're just better than like 24th or 25th place where they were a couple weeks ago. 18th place is Biagi on El Zol. This is the 2554 male female numbers for the third week of June. 17th place, GTS, Christian Contemporary. And 15th place is a tie between Tommy Griffiths there on Big. And Russ Parr on KYS. The Junkies aren't doing so hot. Uh, they're down to 14th place. They're 14th place in the 2554 male female demos. And they're 18th place. 18th place in the 12 plus numbers. Of course, their prime demo is men. But I'd have to imagine they're down a little bit in men too. So anyhow, I don't know. JFK. I, I really hope. I like, you know, I, I mean, I like the JFKers. I really do. But I really hope the D.C. area punishes them for moving out of Fairfax. If any station deserves to be kicked in the balls, JFK does because they're, they're leaving. You know, they are the only radio station, the only major radio station in Northern Virginia, okay? You know, in, in the Fairfax County area. Fairfax County is the largest jurisdiction in the Washington metropolitan area with more than a million people. We deserve to have one friggin' radio station, okay? I mean, all the radio stations can't be located in Lanham and Rockville. We have to have one station in Fairfax. And that was, we always had that with JFK, and soon we won't. So we, they, the station, we have to have a campaign to turn off 106.7. Yeah. Third place, PGC. Big Tigger. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 11th place. Go to the 12th because we've got a tie for 11th. 11th place, uh, WTEM, Mike and Mike in 11th. And uh, Tom Joyner at MMJ1023. They're in 11th place. Now the top 10. Praise 1041 in 10th place. Jack Damonde, 9th place on uh, Mix1073. 8th place, Fresh. Who cares? 7th place, Boxer MZQ. Again, as I told you, he was 3rd place in the 12 plus numbers. Uh, fifth place is a tie between Morning Edition on WAMU885 and Elliot on 101.1 DC101. Uh, fourth place, Lou and Lori and Lori and Lou on uh, Wash. Kane. Kane. John Charles Foster Kane. Rosebud. Rosebud. Third place on uh, Hot 99.5. Steve Harvey, uh, second place on HUR. 
And, of course, anyone want to take a wild guess as the number one radio station? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> ding dong! Ding dong! Ding dong! <coughs> All right, folks. What's the big news? The big news? Yeah, we reported it. WKCW's gone oldies. So let's go over there. See what they play now. Oh, that is an oldie oldie, isn't it? As we... They probably actually have a live orchestra there playing outside the Warrington Transmitter. All right, folks. That's Dave TV for uh, today. Bing Crosby. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. For as rich as you are, it's much better by far to be honest. As the Bing Croons in the background, we shall say so long and thanks for watching Dave TV today. And don't forget to stay tuned.